We are, well, Carter's doing cord control, trying to make it so we don't trip as much uh, and stuff doesn't hang loose. Yeah, Brett asked me to help since this is one of my savant things that I love to do. He is a savant at this. Get like little cords that, you know, hang off and trip people, like, or just are an eyesore like, like that, like that dangling box there. It just seems like it's gonna pull the thing out, which is not good for the equipment, so that needs to be tapered to the pole, and we're just gonna overall make this place look a lot less stressful. Mm -hmm. um, Every time I come up here, I trip on one of these. Yeah, yeah, that will be a nightmare. At least once. So, starting with the lights here, just aesthetically seems like the best idea to me, but honestly, we should probably start with like microphones and other stuff that you trip on those. It's not that they get tripped on, it's that people pull the chairs in yeah. and the cords get bumped. And then you got like guests that yeah. are concerning themselves with your equipment. It's like, come on, dude. Um, I guess like, this, which is the one that like people are in and out of the most? I would assume, I would assume like this, this one. one. Yeah, so let's work on this area. Okay. Fun fact, there seems to be like a national shortage of rock star. This really Carter's, me down, dude. Literally Carter's worst nightmare. Mad well, Max, Carter. None of, the other, uh, none of the other energy drinks are the same. It's like I like the taste of Rockstar, so it uh, it's like a calming thing almost. Uh, I had very similar ideas when I did drugs. <laughs> Ultimately, we're gonna be tapering these cords in a patented way that I've come up with through random spare time and me just doing my thing, um, using command strips and Velcro wrap. I made a post on Instagram the other day. It says whoever invented the, the command strip deserves all the money they've made off their invention and more. Yeah, you nickel uh, dime yourself to death with that stuff. And somebody, uh, somebody's like, you guys there at the castle really do love command strips. I'm gonna go ahead and take full responsibility for bringing this this technique here. But yeah, you basically wrap it around like this, and you peel off this part and stick it to wherever you want to do that and it'll, it'll taper it to whatever. And the cool thing about that is that it's not like tape. It doesn't leave like a sticky residue on it and it's not impossible to get off. And once you put all the command strips down and stuff, they're kind of like anchor points and magnets almost to where you could, you know, swap the cords out and it wouldn't be a, a huge hassle to do. So like, uh, y'all yeah, should say for this guy, I don't know if we would do this here, but yeah, this is probably a huge, we don't need that much, but just for the demonstrative purposes, we'll probably go like that. It's a beautiful thing. Nah! See, that's a more painful death for the stink bug when you do that. It's too bad for him. Because then it dies of all the trash in the trash bag. It's just nothing but dead stink it's bugs in there right now, so. Is it dead already? Uh, oh. Amongst friends. He buried him alive, effectively. Uh, it's it's basically uh, a stink bug genocide. Dump. Yeah, oh. Kind of like I didn't kill any of them. They were all already dead. Oh, they were. Oh well, yeah, they're all over here. They have to have like Sarah vacuum in here like once a week. Okay, I'm gonna unplug one thing. I'm gonna plug it right back in. Is it cool? I unplug this DC five volt. So yeah. you put it back in. The yeah, it's just. Uh, this is the definition of crossing wires right here. This is gonna take like four to five hours probably. Got a lot of shit to do.
Somebody sent us these uh, gift cards to this, what is it called? Dank ass Mexican spot. So we're going to this dank ass Mexican spot to get Mexican food. Yeah.